The DF-26D missile is often portrayed in Western defense discourse as a cornerstone of China's increasingly aggressive military posture. This weapon system is not merely a missile, it is seen as a strategic signal and a physical tool for extending China's military reach in ways that threaten the established balance of power in the Indo-Pacific region. Analysts frequently underscore its role in challenging the operational freedom of the United States Navy and its allies, which has long been a key factor underpinning regional security and global maritime order. At the heart of the narrative is the missile's advertised ability to strike moving naval targets at great distances, reportedly up to 4,000 kilometers, something that, if fully realized, would represent a significant leap in anti-access and area denial A2AD capabilities. This long reach, combined with the mobility of its launch platforms, ostensibly allows China to threaten major U.S. naval assets such as aircraft carriers, amphibious assault ships, and support vessels even when they are operating far from Chinese shores. The portrayal of the DF-26D as a carrier killer has become a key element in Western strategic assessments, often used to highlight the growing challenge posed by China's missile modernization efforts. This missile is part of a broader picture of China's military buildup, but it stands out because it represents a convergence of several strategic goals, extended strike range, precision targeting, rapid deployment, and survivability. The solid-fueled, road-mobile nature of the missile means it can be moved unpredictably, making detection and preemptive strikes more difficult. Western analysts argue this mobility combined with rapid launch readiness drastically increases the risk calculus for U.S. and allied forces, forcing them to consider operating from greater distances or employing costly countermeasures. Moreover, the dual-capable nature of the DF-26D, able to carry either conventional or nuclear warheads, is frequently highlighted to illustrate China's strategy of ambiguity and deterrence. This ambiguity complicates an adversary's response because it creates uncertainty about the nature of an incoming threat, whether it is a conventional strike or a nuclear one. This is viewed in the West as a deliberate tactic to increase the missile's coercive power and reduce the effectiveness of enemy defenses and decision-making processes. The proliferation of the DF-26D and its integration into the Chinese military's missile brigades are often portrayed as evidence of a strategic shift from defense to offense. The argument here is that China is no longer content to merely defend its borders or maritime claims but is aggressively expanding its ability to project power and threaten key U.S. assets and allies in the region. This expansion is seen as part of a larger military modernization effort aimed at undermining the U.S. military's ability to operate close to China's periphery, thus potentially isolating Taiwan and other regional partners in the event of conflict. The framing of the DF-26D in Western discourse is generally alarmist, emphasizing the weapon's potential to destabilize regional security. This includes concerns that the missile could embolden China to pursue more aggressive policies by providing a credible threat to American carriers and bases, thereby raising the stakes for any conflict scenario. The emphasis on the missile's role in anti-access strategies feeds into broader narratives about a looming strategic rivalry that could escalate into open conflict. Critics of the Chinese narrative point to the lack of transparent testing against moving naval targets and the limited real-world demonstration of the missile's supposed anti-ship capabilities. While China often releases footage and statements touting the missile's precision and effectiveness, many Western experts remain skeptical, arguing that operational performance in contested environments, against advanced missile defenses and electronic warfare systems, remains unproven. This skepticism, however, is often overshadowed by the emphasis on the missile's potential and the worst-case scenarios it represents. Despite this, the missile's existence and deployment alone are enough to provoke significant concern in U.S. defense planning and allied security policies. It forces a reconsideration of naval tactics, force posture, and defense investments. The threat posed by the DF-26D is often cited to justify increased funding for missile defense systems, surveillance capabilities, and new offensive weapons by the U.S. and its partners. In addition to the technical and strategic aspects, the DF-26D also plays a role in the information environment. It is used as a symbol in media and policy debates to underscore the message that China's rise is militarily assertive and potentially aggressive. This framing aligns with broader geopolitical competition, where China's military modernization is frequently viewed not simply as a defensive necessity but as a deliberate effort to challenge and potentially overturn the existing international order. The DF-26D is more than just a missile, it is a focal point for a wider narrative about China's ambitions and the threat it poses to regional stability and U.S. military primacy. While technical uncertainties remain, 
The dominant narrative in much of the West is that the missile significantly enhances China's ability to project power, complicates deterrence, and raises the risks of miscalculation in a highly contested region. This perception shapes policy, defense planning, and public discourse, ensuring that the DF-26D remains a critical concern for those watching the evolving security dynamics of the Indo-Pacific.